So now I'm here besides the demonstration of the K68 keyboard, which just has water plummeting all over the keys and it is still working perfectly fine. Now they have this in two different flavors, blue backlighting with blue Cherry MX switches and red lighting with Cherry MX red switches. And that's also the design for this keyboard came from the fact that a lot of Asian web cafes had people just spilling coffees and spilling drinks all over the keyboard. And instead of having to go fix those keyboards, they can then just clean the keyboards and they will still work and they'll be ready to go rather than the web cafe spending lots of money to replace it. Two thousand and seventeen's Computex coverage for tech. Yes, City was brought to you by MSI and Corsair, and for a limited time only, you can get a free copy of Ghost Recon's Wildlands Deluxe Edition with any purchase of an MSI product. Click the link in the description below to find out more. So now we're at the arguably the most interesting thing on the peripheral side of things. This is Concept Zeus. I am joined by Chris Smithy Mayo. How you doing, man? Yeah, really good. Thanks yourself. Yeah, pretty good. I'm loving Computex, and I'm actually loving this concept. Zeus, so tell me a little bit more about it, what's its features, and who's it going to target? So Concept Zeus is a completely new thing for us. A lot of people have asked us to show to the public a little bit more about what we're working on. Instead of just saying, hey, we came out with this awesome K95 keyboard, or hey, we've already released this case. We're saying, this is what we're looking to do in the future. Unlike a lot of other, say, car manufacturers, we're showing concepts that are a reality, and not concepts that are just to get people excited. So basically what happens here with the Concept Zeus is it's a wireless mouse as well as it's a mouse pad that can charge it through Qi charging, which is QI charging. So you can essentially, instead of having to worry about changing the batteries on your mouse, you just put it on this little zone on the mouse pad and then it's all charged ready to go for the next time you're gaming, yeah? Yeah, exactly. So it means that, uh, you know, if you're if you're going to the toilet, going to make a mad feed while you're in a big gaming session or someone comes to the door... Well, everyone, everyone loves a mad feed, right? Everyone loves a mad feed. You can just chuck the mouse right up to the top and then it can just start charging while you're gone and then you can come back. Or, you know, most motherboards these days have USB ports that work when the PC is off. So you can just move the mouse to the top. It's always charging. But if you're really worried, it comes with micro USB on it anyway. So you can charge like that too. So you've got a mouse there with expandability on the mouse pad and also the mouse has a lot of features where you can implement macros but uh, at the moment it's still very early in the concept so there's actually no official word on release date, pricing or even what sensors going in this mouse, yeah? Yeah, basically, you know, the, the list of information so far is that it's a Qi charging thing with a mouse and a mouse pad. It's, it can charge your phone as well at the same time. It comes with a dongle that you can plug into your iPhone and you also use that to charge. If you have an Android that isn't Qi charging capable, you can plug the dongle into that as well. It's, we're going to have about seven side buttons on the mouse. It's going to light up because it's Corsair. It's going to be software compatible because it's Corsair. But besides that, there's not too much more information. We're looking at a release date of the second half half of this year but there's a possibility we'll run into the start of next year as well okay well i was just uh, keen to check out some of those unrealistic concepts as well you never know they are pretty fancy yeah they're pretty fancy <laughs> anyway guys thanks chris for coming over for the booth and showing us concept zeus and let us know in the comment section guys what do you think of this i actually tested it out and i think it's really cool i could use something like this since i do want to get a wireless mouse except i always have that problem where it runs out of batteries so this thing will definitely solve that problem for me so also in the peripheral zone is the Corsair Glaive, which has been recently released to market. And the coolest thing about this mouse is you can change it to three different variants with the side control there. So you've got a textured side, a non-textured side, which is a little bit wider, and also a non-textured side, which is the same as the original, which was textured. And also on that note, it is a palm grippers mouse. So it does have a pretty big feel to it. So if you are into mice like the Death Adder, all the other variants from Logitech, like the G400, then this mouse is definitely cool. You've got the RGB lighting, really good PixArt sensor in here. And not only that, you can also use the Syncit software. And I have tested the input lag on Corsair mice, and they're pretty much just as good as Logitech mice. So if you are into pro gaming, then this thing is really customizable. It feels really good. The clicks all around feel exceptionally good too. So I can see why the Glaive is doing really well already. And I'm trying it out firsthand. I'm really liking it so far.
Anyway, guys, that's it for the Corsair booth for 2017. We just finished covering the peripherals, and I thought that concept, Zeus, that was something that I could definitely use in my life and get rid of the wired option, even though it does have the option to wire it up and plug it up. Anyway, I'll catch you guys in another tech video very soon for Computex 2017, and peace out for now. Bye.